Hi Kin, I'm Grey and today I'm going to be telling you guys how you can find out if your dog's pregnant. The reason I decided to do this video today you guys is because my dog Bo is currently 8 weeks pregnant and so she's getting quite fat now and it, you can like feel the baby squirming around inside of her, it's kind of gross really. But, so we're, she's, we're kind of expecting her to give birth any day now. Um, so pretty much I'm going to tell you guys the signs you can, you can expect and behavioural changes and what, what you pretty much need to do. One thing you guys need to keep in mind when you're expecting, if you think your dog's pregnant, is that you cannot, it's like really difficult to tell like until the last couple of weeks because the average dog pregnancy, like the most it can possibly be, is about nine weeks. And compared to humans, that is such a short amount of time. So really, the main, like when they get to the last two weeks or so, that is when they start to fasten up and you can actually see all the more symptoms. But today we're telling you guys the symptoms that are small but you can help you if they're all together notice if your dog's pregnant. The first point you guys can find is within the first two to three weeks you'll find their nipple colour changes from whatever colour it was before to pink and they become more swollen. Their nipples also might start to lactate. Her gums may also widen but to find out you have to actually lift up the lip or whatever. It's not the gum on the underside, it's the actual gum that's by the teeth. Be really careful by which part you look at. They should start to whiten, but that's within the first two to three weeks. You may find that your dog becomes quieter, clingy, and affectionate. But that is not the same for all dogs. Um, it changes for pretty much all dogs. Some people may find that your dogs aren't quiet, they might be louder. They may not be clingy and affectionate, they might be like really wanting to be alone, might want to be isolated somewhere. So if your dog is behaving like that, it's better to respect his wishes, wishes than get your head bitten off or something, because they can get quite moody. You also should expect your dog to become hungrier and have a large appetite. But this does not mean that you need to like start piling more food onto its plate. Because the puppies are growing inside of mummy's stomach, You've got to, it's pretty much taking up more space for the food. So she's going to be hungry because she's got puppies, but she won't be able to like, have that much food inside of it. So what you're going to need to start doing is, it's a bit difficult for us because we've got a dog as well, you're going to need to start giving her snack time instead of normal meal time. So like, one little honey snack at breakfast, then before lunch time, then at lunch time, then after lunch time, then dinner time. You're going to put it out like that. That way she gets her full days like a meal, but in small little snacks. That way she can actually get it into her system. In the last two weeks, you can expect to feel puppy movement in her stomach. That should happen like right above the thighs, you'll be able to feel them. And, but don't be worried if you can't because they are quite deep down in the stomach. We can feel it in our dogs and it's quite strange because you can like feel them and it's like really gross, but it's really cool at the same time. But you should be able to feel them like right there and unless they might be too deep down, then you should, be, you should be able to feel them, but you cannot feel the exact outline of the puppy's shape because you've got to keep in mind that they're inside like a fluid sac kind of thing and so you'll just feel maybe them occasionally bump up against the side. In the last week your dog may start nesting or try to push all the blankets or whatever and try and make a quiet nesting spot somewhere. You can help by doing this by getting a really big box and then putting like that you could obviously get out of, not so that you're trapping her inside, but maybe like that high so the puppies can't get out but she can get out and then you can put like soft blankets and stuff in that way she'll feel more safer in the environment. When she's giving birth make sure that you don't have like huge crowds of people around taking pictures. She'll probably only want her owner or anyone else she trusts in the room or she'll feel overcrowded and probably not want to give birth. Um, because of the nesting, just that's Bo outside right now barking. You've got, you've got a pregnant dog bark, lucky. I can't even talk. Can I start now? Possibly. Before your dog actually gives birth, she may not eat at all. Because just before, when, before she gave, like a couple of weeks before, after whatever time it was, after she got mated, she will have been wanting more and more food to support the growing pups. But uh, just before, like maybe a couple of days before she actually gives birth, her hunger will just go down and she will not want to eat at all. And that is because she knows it's a safer idea to give birth on an empty stomach. And she may throw up to empty the contents of her stomach that she already has. 
So it's best not to try and give her food, but you can give her water because that will help a lot. So yeah, that's how you find out if your dog's pregnant, you guys. When my dog does give birth, I want to record the birth and I want to record puppies afterwards and as they grow up. I want to make a like, time-lapse video of them growing up because that would be like ridiculously cute. We're going to keep maybe one or two of the puppies. We're going to get the rest of them away though, so I'm really excited for the puppies. I don't know, I'm not excited for the giveaway part. I want to get them all. If you guys like this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe because that helps a lot. It makes me feel happy and I, I just makes me feel happy knowing people like the videos. So bye!